Welcome to the Public Education Foundation's podcast series featuring excellent teachers in Hamilton County. For more information on excellent teachers and how the Public Education Foundation is working to spread excellence to every classroom, visit www.pefchattanooga.org. With a heavy focus on math and reading skills, science often gets left out, especially in elementary grades. But second grade teacher Michelle Lowe incorporates science into her math and reading lessons so that her students get that hands-on experience. Learn more as we visit Michelle Lowe's excellent classroom at Wallace A. Smith Elementary. Gas is too doing a study on solids and liquids and in doing that I wanted them to identify the properties of a solid before the liquid was added and just to note if there were any changes and if so they were to write down the changes that occurred and um, as you saw some of the solids did change some of them did not change very much. What happened is some of them melted and just turned into like sugar and some just melted and then you couldn't see it. I was a leadership fellow a few years back and that was awesome. It was, uh, I learned so much through that leadership program, um, not just strategies that I could take back and use within the classroom, but how to step outside of the classroom and be a leader. Um, I've also been able to collaborate in the building and, and bring some things back to the teachers here in the building, things, strategies and techniques I learned through what I um, did with PEF in the leadership program. Miss Lowe and I meet frequently throughout the week, maybe 5, 10, 30 minute increments, just depending on the day of the week. We touch base together every day, but then we spend some quality time talking about where we are, maybe um, in reading or science. Um, and we sit down and we say, you know, what are you doing? Tell me how you're going to teach, for example, matter solid, liquid, and gases, which we've been doing the last two weeks. Where is it? Where did it go? What? That's a good question. What do you think happened? I put my hand in there and get it. I need to see the stick. It's magic. It is very essential that we make time to teach science in uh, the lower grades. I have students who love it, and I think making it hands-on is, is just, uh, it opens up doors for them. They're able to really get down and investigate and see things that they normally probably would not be able to see because we're, we're required to do so many other things, the reading, the math, and um, we have to teach those two subjects a certain amount of um, hours a day. And in doing that, a lot of times science is put on the back burner. So I try to incorporate it into my reading block. I try to do it within my math block so that um, I'm sure that my children are getting the science and. I try to make it hands on. Do you think it's gonna sink? Do you think it's gonna you think it's gonna dissolve? That's a good word. What does dissolve mean? It means like it's gonna sink into water. Or do you think it's gonna sink? No, it just turns it just turns into like water. So it's gonna you are not gonna be able to see it at all. It's just gonna be the water there. I like Miss Miss Lowe's class because we get to do fun activities and we do math rotations and reading. I think um the most effective methods I use are um, hands-on, peer um, tutoring, small group. I love um, to get the kids talking. We do a lot of cooperative learning type activities. For those learners who learn better in small groups, they've, you know, they've had a portion of that. For those who learn better with the teacher just lecturing, they've got, had a little piece of that. So I try to incorporate every type of um, learning style possible when I'm doing my teaching. My partner has helped me by like one time I was way behind on math and he helped me get through it. What I'm trying to get them to do is talk about their learning, not just, you know, tell me what you did, but why did you do what you did? And uh, a lot of times when they do that, they learn things from each other because their partner may bring out a point that they did not necessarily see. And I don't want to be the one telling them all the time what the correct answer is or what it was that I saw. I think it's important to learn from each other. Thank you for visiting the classroom of one of Hamilton County's many excellent teachers. 
For more on Excellent Teachers and the Public Education Foundation, visit www.pefchattanooga.org.